Hi guys, happy fall. Welcome to Off The Path Learning. My name is Lisa, and this is my trusty sidekick, Shadow. We're passionate about nature and connecting with its various plants and mushrooms. And we want to share what we learn with you so that you can benefit from the powerful medicines within your reach. Today, I'd like to talk about evening primrose. And in this video, I'll be focusing specifically on one part of this incredibly versatile plant. It's the most active medicinally, and it's a part that's perfect for harvesting right now, the seed. So I've just done my first harvest of the evening primrose seeds, and what an incredible experience. I'm really thankful to have been able to get to know evening primrose a little better this year. Actually, this plant made itself quite difficult to ignore. It sprouted up everywhere this year in the garden. I guess I missed all the first year basil rosettes last year. This great circumstance took place after a not so happy event. So what happened here is that our leech field started to get oversaturated. It took us a little bit of time to figure out what was happening. We didn't even realize where the old leech field was. Anyway, long story short, we had to get a new system put together, which meant that a big part of our lawn was disturbed and became a dirt patch. I was definitely sad to lose some of the plants that we had, namely St. John's wort, but I was excited to see what nature would do with this new canvas. And I was not disappointed. Nature brought to me the all-powerful evening primrose. So, as you can see, evening primrose likes disturbed areas. You can find it in full sun in areas that have been disturbed by humans, in construction sites, on roadsides, in parking lots, and gravel pits. It really prefers these human disturbed areas over the wild. This plant is native to North America and it's a biennial meaning that it typically has a two-year life cycle, growing up as a basil rosette of leaves in its first year, and in the second year, it sends up a flowering stalk. This plant gets its name Evening Primrose from the fact that the flowers open up in the evening, apparently in a matter of a few minutes before your eyes, and they close the next day around noon. Now there are a lot of different species of evening primrose. The most commonly referenced is Onothera bianis. But when it comes to foraging this plant, differentiating the different species is not crucial. They can all be used in the same ways, though the quality might differ a little. In French, the name of this plant is Onag. So as I've mentioned, it's an extremely versatile plant. It offers a lot of different parts that can be harvested at different times of the year. So this is a very interesting aspect to a forager. And because of this, it's a really good plant to get to know as a novice forager. So in the spring, you can harvest the taproot from the plants that are just a basil rosette with no stem. Then you can go on to harvest the young shoots and the leaves of the second year plant. After that, the flower buds become available to eat. Then it's the flowers, and finally, the seeds. So right now, it's a great time to get out there and harvest the seeds, but you can collect them starting late summer. You wanna wait until the seed pod matures and starts splitting open. So note that a single plant will offer different parts of itself at different times. So the lower parts of the plant mature faster, and the top part is the least developed. So you'll see the seed pods towards the bottom, the flowers in the middle, and the flower buds on top. So this plant has a pretty long flowering window. It begins to flower in July, and it continues all the way into October. 
all parts of this plant can be used at its various stages of growth. And aside from the seed that you can harvest right now, it's also a great time to be looking out for the basil rosette to harvest the taproot. Now I will definitely be doing that, but I will leave that for the next video. The seeds are the plant's most powerful part medicinally and are very popular as an extracted oil. It's actually produced commercially. But the seeds are just as good for you if they're simply ingested. So harvesting the seeds is not difficult. You can easily harvest this coveted health food for yourself for free. True, it's a little tedious to collect the seed in quantity, but why not just succumb to the task at hand and enjoy the moment? As the seed capsule dries, the seed pod will break up into four different valves, each containing seeds. When it's my first time taking part in a particular harvest, I always struggle with what the best method of collection is, but after some trial and error, you develop a system that works well for you. So there's lots of different ways you can approach this harvest, do what feels right to you, maybe just take a moment to connect with the plant before harvest, and see if you get inspired. You can collect the seed pods one by one, crush them up in your fingers, or you can cut them open at the base, which opens up the capsule and makes it easier to collect all of the seeds. Or depending on the time that you're harvesting and how dry the plant is, you can just cut the stem off and shake the seeds into a bowl or a bag for fast, easy collection. Once you've harvested your seeds, you'll need to spend some time sorting through them and cleaning them out of any debris. Once you've got your seeds nicely sorted, make sure they're dry. So I harvested these right off of the stem, they were very dry. But if you're harvesting them at an earlier stage, or for some reason the seeds have some humidity, you will need to dry them out first before storing. The seeds can be used in countless ways. You crush them up and you add them to your bread dough, your muffins, your cookies, put them in your cereal, your smoothie, just add them to a glass of water. The possibilities are really endless. The seeds don't have that classic peppery quality that most all other parts of the evening primrose has. They have a really pleasant taste. And by adding evening primrose seeds to your diet, you will get so many benefits. You will boost your immune system, and these seeds can help with issues such as PMS, anxiety, chronic pain, inflammation, headaches, arthritis, and high blood pressure, just to name a few. The evening primrose seed oil contains the highest amount of gamma linoleic acid of any known food substance. GLA is an anti-inflammatory fatty acid, and I will let the work of Arthur Haynes in his book Ancestral Plants explain how important GLA is to our bodies. So that's it for this video on the evening primrose seeds. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you come into contact with this wonderful plant and that you have an opportunity to take its seed. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.